Okay, the speaker is uh, Victor Sunday, who is a lecturer in Geospatial Information Science at the University of Port Harcourt, Nigeria. And um, he is also a member of HOT and a PhD researcher at the University of uh, Nigeria. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, this uh, work uh, was done with the passion to drive an open street map community in Nigeria as a, a crowdsource mapping uh, tool. And so uh, it was also part of uh, my PhD research work, which uh, uh, Professor Antonia, Maria Antonia Brovele and uh, Rafael Ikenduku uh, supervised. And uh, I work with uh, geography and environmental management in West of Portacot, Nigeria. And uh, I uh, do my research PhD work at the uh, uh, Geoinformatics and Surve uh, Surveying Department, University of Nigeria, Nugu Campus, Nigeria. And then the community that emerged out of this work is uh, Unique Mapas Network Nigeria, which is currently the Open Street Map community in Nigeria. Yeah. And uh, uh, to start with, uh, we, we are looking at uh, open mapping as a crowdsource tool. And so we know that uh, open mapping leverages some volunteer mappers that are mobilized from the public. Uh, and most often they are trained and coordinated to drive a definite uh, mapping tax. And so for this study, we engage two categories of uh, mappers. Uh, which we call the local mappers that are resident in Nigeria, and then the remote mappers that are res that are resident outside Nigeria. So we wanted to look at their level of participation uh, in terms of contribution to OpenStreetMap, and so we decided to uh, 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 take a study area uh, which is basically in the uh, Niger Delta, specifically the Ogoni land. And uh, in Ogoni land, we have about four uh, uh, local governments that are highly vulnerable to oil spill disaster. And so in that uh, area, we have the UNEP coming in to assess the environmental situation uh, in, uh, in Ogoni land. And uh, 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 the recommendation is that uh, there is need for environmental restoration in the area. And so there is also need for critical open geospatial data for those uh, vulnerable uh, uh, communities. And so that gives us the opportunity to uh, actually contribute uh, to the ongoing project by providing uh, open geospatial data that will help uh, address uh, the oil spill uh, uh, vulnerable communities in that area. And uh, in Ogoni land, uh, we have four local governments, like I mentioned, that are critically uh, 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 vulnerable to oil spill. Uh, that's the uh, um, Thai local government, Gokana, Kana, and uh, LMA local government. And so out of these four, we selected uh, two local governments, which is Thai and uh, Gokana, uh, local government. And so that's the study area. Uh, Gokana, uh, 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 the two local governments are situated in River State and River State uh, in Niger Delta and Niger Delta in Nigeria. So that's the description of uh, uh, the study area. And so in our methodology, we adopted a sample survey to uh, mobilize and capture uh, the population of volunteer mappers uh, that were engaged in the project. And thereafter, we also sent out a questionnaire to actual mappers via the uh, hot taxing project for each local government. And at the end of the day, we use that data to analyze the demographics of uh, the remote mappers and then the local mappers. Uh, we also collected data from the uh, hot taxi manager 
uh, uh, and then we also moved ahead to organize a mapathon uh, for each of these uh, categories of mappers. That's the remote mappers and the local mappers. And so we made use of uh, both in-person uh, and virtual facilities to provide uh, training for the mappers. Uh, we, we, we targeted a, a population of 200 uh, for each of these uh, categories of uh, uh, mappers. And so we had online uh, mapping activities uh, that, were category that were categorized into three th stages, which we tagged the Mappathon Battle for Vulnerable Communities, uh, Season 1, Season 2, and then Season 3. And so by this approach, you were able to use the gamification technique that was applied to coordinate the mapping process so that we can trigger and motivate uh, a crowdsourced uh, online mapping activity uh, uh, based on the motive incentive uh, activation uh, behavior model for crowdsourcing. And so these are the, uh, yeah, that's part of the mobilization and training uh, activities that were carried out uh, for each of these uh, local mappers because uh, we, uh, for local mappers, we, we, we were so much interested in making sure that uh, we, 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 we get, have a direct contact with them, uh, uh, know who they are, know the category of persons they are, and then we, 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 we provided a, an in-person mapathon during which we, we, we provided refreshment, uh, data access, and every other thing to, to help them, and then give them uh, direct training. And then for the online mappers, uh, uh, that's uh, the remote mappers, we had a virtual uh, uh, mapathon. As you can see from the picture, you see uh, the Oyoma Pass team, the UNIZIC, the Oyoma Pass team is uh, the team we created at the Federal School of Survey Oyo. And then the uh, UNIZIC mappers team, uh, that's at the University of uh, uh, Namde Azikwe University and so on. You can see the unique mappers team at the University of Port Harcourt, and then the Absu mappers team. So we traveled to those different locations, universities, campus, and then mobilized them and uh, introduced them for the first time because most of them are new to what we talk about in OpenStreetMap. So we take time to, you know, provide a campaign uh, uh, print uh, handbills, flyers, publicity, and uh, we're also able to get the uh, coordinators for each of them so that we had a date. So, okay, season one, season two, this is the date we are going to have for you. And so uh, that is what we did in the mobilization and training of volunteer mappers. Then for the actual uh, 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 mapping tags, we had a delineation of mapping tags for each uh, for uh, remote mappers as well as uh, uh, the local mappers uh, using uh, the hot taxing uh, manager. And so uh, the extraction was done using the Nigerian admin uh, data set, uh, which was imported into the taxing manager. And then uh, the area of interest was uh, uh, greeted. And so we had about uh, uh, 596 and uh, seven, uh, 706 grids respectively, that's for uh, Gokana, uh, for Thai and Gokana local government. That's for the remote mappers and for the uh, local mappers. And so uh, we, we now published that on OpenStreetMap and uh, uh, we published that uh, with tax, the taxi manager so, and shared the link so that uh, the mapathon uh, started just the same day for local mappers and the uh, remote mappers. So uh, these are the samples of the tax that were created for each of the local governments. And then in our results, uh, because we are interested in looking at the, the level of uh, uh, contribution, performance, the level of participation from both categories of uh, uh, mappers. So we also looked at the demographics of uh, each 
uh, of the mappers that were mobilized. Uh, for instance, about 16%, 16.885% of uh, the mappers fell within the ages of 26 to 35 years and then followed by 18 to uh, 25 years, accounting for about 15.73% 15, uh, 15 of the participants. So the least age are those below 18 years, uh, which accounted for 4.93. Then for the male-female ratio, we, we in administration of the survey, we had male-female uh, and then uh, those who are neutral. And so you can see the percentage uh, 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 for those who contributed. And then uh, um, for the level of participation for each of these categories, we discovered that uh, for Project 6358 that was created exclusively for mappers outside Nigeria, that's a Thai local government, uh, we, we, had, uh, we had a total grid of uh, 596 mapping tax, while for 6358, that's uh, for the local mappers, we had about 706 mapping tax, uh, so due to the differences. And so only uh, for, uh, for, lo uh, for 6358, which is Thai local government, out of the 596 tax uh, that were completely mapped, only 13 were yet to be validated after two years of uh, creating the project. And so the project recorded a total of about 16 edits, 16,000 edits, which includes 13,000 buildings uh, and then 858 kilometers of roads uh, for mapped by the remote mappers in Thai local government uh, within the line, uh, timeline of the study. Uh, and uh, this, this category of mappers, they were able to uh, map this within six months. Within six months, uh, you can see uh, the timeline the changes that were done for each category, the remote mappers, uh, for Thai local government, and then uh, the Gokana. So for, for Gokana, which is the local uh, mappers, they mapped the, the local government within 28 months, while the remote mappers completed their own mapping just within six uh, months. And so that helped us to analyze uh, the, the, the contribution, the level of contribution for each categories of uh, mappers, as you can see uh, here. So in conclusion, uh, we discovered that there is a lacuna that needs to be investigated uh, from this study uh, uh, arising from the mapping response level of uh, OpenStreetMap contributors from other countries. Uh, that is remote mappers and then local mappers are resident in Nigeria and uh, we feel that this, uh, uh, this is based on the geographic context uh, because uh, when you look at the remote mappers uh, uh, in terms of international community or the global community and then the local mappers in terms of uh, uh, the indigenous uh, content of the contribution you find out that there is uh, a, a kind of uh, 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 a need for investigation to know why you know the those within outside and those within inside uh, based on geographical uh, location could differ in their level of uh, participation and then another uh, thing we discovered is uh, the digital uh, citizenry uh, talks about uh, internet access and so on yeah for instance uh, uh, the local mappers, especially in the uh, developing countries, uh, would have uh, need uh, for uh, uh, the cost of internet, uh, 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 yeah, to break the barrier for the cost of uh, uh, internet devices and so on. Uh, whereas uh, those uh, in the developed countries, uh, they have uh, uh, free access to internet. Uh, you can see just around here, if we have opportunity in the developing countries, Nigeria, where you could just come with your laptop and sit down and begin to map, it's not like that. 
So you need to buy them data. You need to subscribe for data and so on. So, and then the exposure uh, that, that now reduces the, the level of participation because the individual will think about the cost of uh, uh, payment for internet uh, data subscription. What about the demographic uh, characterization in terms of uh, age, uh, sex and all other things and so on. The economic disposition of those, the volunteers. Yeah, the, the volunteers, uh, the remote mappers from other countries, if they are well uh, positioned and uh, they don't have need of, uh, you know, uh, much need of, they have time to volunteer in as much as their economic disposition are quite comfortable. But uh, local mappers, especially in the lo uh, developing countries, uh, uh, would need the cost of the basic, uh, you know, uh, the basic needs, uh, taking care of the things. Either you, you can't just engage a youth and at the end of the day, uh, he goes home looking for food. So he would rather want to, uh, to use his time to invest in what will give him money. So the economic disposition of volunteers uh, matters a lot in the level of participation of uh, of uh, uh, volunteer mappers, yeah, both uh, in especially in uh, uh, in responding to a rapid uh, providing a rapid response mapping for vulnerable uh, communities in Nigeria. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Uh, I hope I, I kept the time. <laughs> thank you, Victor.